Yo, what is up? OGC here, and today I'm going to bring you guys a bit of a different video. I'm going to go over my top 10 sales from December of 2018. So this is not everything I sold that month, but just the top 10 best items. <clears throat> and I'm going to go in order from least to greatest. Um, and I want to shout out the Primetime Treasure Hunter because he gave me the idea to do this type of video. It's a little bit more condensed and I'll still give you guys an idea of what I am selling. <coughs> I do apologize for my voice because I am getting over a little cold. So anyways, first item, I sold this vintage Ralph Lauren uh, quilted reversible puffer vest. And this was a really nice piece I picked up at a garage sale for $2.00. And um, it, I actually thought about redonating this one, but it <clears throat> I looked it up and I saw one going for like 70, 80 bucks. And I was really surprised. I almost fell out of my chair. I couldn't believe it was going for that much. But um, I shouldn't have been that surprised because it was just so unique and weird that it made sense. But um, yeah, so I picked this up for two, sold for 70. Uh, very happy about that. It took a few months to sell, but definitely a good sale. Okay, next up we have these Chippewa boots uh, that had 400 grams insulation. So I picked these boots up off of the Let Go app. Uh, this is a good tip for you guys out there. If your thrift stores aren't good or your garage sales aren't good or whatever, um, I definitely would consider looking into Craigslist, Let Go, Facebook Marketplace, and trying to source items from there. So um, the guy was asking, I believe, $30 for these Chippewa boots. Um I got him down to 20. I think I, I said 15. He said no. But then he came back a day later and said uh, 20, sure. <coughs> uh, 20, and I said sure. So um, as you can see, they weren't even that good of condition. Um, the toes had a bunch of wear. And the laces, you can see, also had a pretty good amount of wear there. Um, but yeah, they're, <coughs> they're in decent condition, though. And they literally sold within a day. So they sold for not 80. I took a best offer of 75 on these. So um, yeah, very happy about that sale. Really quick turnaround time. All right, next up we have the Sony headphones. So this was an interesting one. I walked into a Salvation Army one day and there was just a complete rack of all this old sealed Sony stuff. So <coughs> I ended up buying it all for like 50 bucks. So each thing was probably like, you know, five bucks, I'd say. Um, so anytime you see sealed, dead stock, old stock, old new stock, whatever, um, Sony, always pick it up. It's definitely a good bolo. Um, so yeah, I picked these up for probably $5 and they sold for 80 and it probably sold within a month. Um, on Amazon, these were going for like 120 but unfortunately I was restricted in this product, so I couldn't sell it. But um, I'm still very happy with the sale I got on these. So there you go. Next item. Okay, this next item is very strange. So <laughs> this is a iWalk 2.0 uh, hands-free crutch. So this is basically what you use if you tear your ACL, uh, if you have like a hamstring issue, broken leg, whatever. Um, you can like walk around in this thing. Like uh, you can use it as a crutch. <laughs> um, it has like this Vibram undersole. Let me see if I can oh, I didn't take a picture of it. Oh no, right there. Vibram um, undersole. So I, I was in the Goodwill for probably like a half hour and I couldn't find anything. But then I came across this and I was like, oh, I figure I'll look it up. And uh, I, I was pretty surprised. It was going for like, you know, $100, $110 new. And as you can see from right here, I did list it as used even though it was like, in mint mint condition you can see it still has like the instructions and everything um, I still listed it as used just to be safe um, even though it probably never was but uh, this is another item that sold within a day so it sold for $95 uh, within one day I picked up for 10 bucks it did it was a little annoying to ship but it went to New Hampshire so it didn't cost me too much probably I think $10 since it was just on the East Coast um, so very happy about that. A very quick turnaround time. So definitely can't complain, but definitely uh, one of the other items I have sold. <clears throat> so next item are these Chippewa, um, motorcycle boots or biker boots. 
And I, I picked these up at one of the local chains of thrift stores in Syracuse. And I believe I paid $10, 10 or 15 bucks for these. And um, I didn't really know what they were at first, but I looked, I saw this little logo right here and I, I couldn't believe it. This is the first, this is the first pair of Chippewas I ever found. So um, I was really, I was super excited because I knew these things brand new go for hundreds and hundreds. So um, yeah, they were in great condition. They had one little issue right here, but um, nothing, nothing too serious. And yeah, I threw them up on eBay. They probably, they probably took about two months to sell and I did not get $123. I got $100 right on the, <clears throat> right on the nose. Um, so yeah, I, I was pretty happy about that. So $10 and um, 200, that was pretty good. That seemed to be kind of the theme of uh, the month of December. <laughs> <coughs> so this Burberry coat was the same thing. Uh, Burberry, you guys saw me pick this up in one of my haul videos. Uh, very nice um, coat. If you don't know about this brand, you really, really should. It did have the Nova check pattern, which is a big, big seller in this coat or uh, jacket. Anytime you see Burberry that has that Nova check, always, always, always uh, look further into it and you'll most likely be picking it up. <laughs> again, this thing had, so it was only priced at 115 because again, it had no size tag and it literally had this person's name stamped on the inside of it and their address. So I did disclose that in the description, but um, yeah, I'm still very happy about that. I uh, sold, I believe within two days, two days for a hundred dollars. So yeah, so yeah, I could have waited out and gone 115, but whatever, I was glad to get <coughs> the quick little turnaround there. Okay, next up we have these Doc Martin Airwares, or um, yeah, Airwares, steel toe boots. And I picked these up on Let Go as well. Um, I picked, this, this is actually uh, one of the two boots, you'll see the other boot soon. But I picked these up for, I believe, $35 on the Let Go app. And they sold within probably a month and a half for $115. And they were in absolutely mint condition. I, I was so surprised that this guy let them go for $35. Um, but yeah, $35 for these Doc Martens. A very, very good quality boot <coughs> for sure. Next up, we got this men's Orvis brown leather jacket. And you guys saw me uh, pick this one up in either a haul or a ride along. I, I don't remember. Um, but Orvis, not always a great brand. But again, if you just find the right stuff in the brand, just like with that polo um, vest, it'll sell. So um, don't be afraid to you know look things up and look into it a little bit further. So this I picked up for $9 at a Goodwill a couple miles down the street from my house and um, ended up selling for full asking price. And that was another one that was within like two or three days for $130. <coughs> Excuse me. So um, really happy about that one. <laughs> it was a great size too, a 44, um, which is a European large. Um, so that's a great size if you're messing with men's clothing. Okay, next up. So this is also from the same let go deal. I got those Doc Martens. These are very, very nice Chippewa engineer boots. Um, they had a little bit of an issue on the toe. They had like this little scratch, but nonetheless still sold for full asking price of $140. And I picked these up for, I want to say I picked them up for 50 bucks on let go. Um, because the guy sold me, no, it might have been 45 because he gave me both for 80. He wanted like 35 for the dot marks. So yeah. So we'll call it 45, um, or 55. And, um, yeah, I was, I was very, very happy to see this, uh, cha ching on my phone because <coughs> I did not think they were going to sell for 140 just because, uh, they did have a good, a little bit of wear on the toe. Um, sometimes it can detract people. So there you go. And here we go. Number one sale of December 2018. We have this new, and um, it really wasn't new, but I'll get to that. Uh, this train set right here. 
that I probably picked up in August. Um, picked it up at a thrift store that was having <coughs> a grand opening. And um, they had so much. I, I grabbed so much stuff that day. Um, but yeah, I picked this up in August. And it took till December to sell. And the funny thing is in the summer and fall, it didn't have much interest because no one wants uh, the electric train sets until, you know, Christmas time when you can put them around the tree um, and set them up or whatever. So no one, <laughs> it got a ton of interest. I got offers on it and all this stuff in late November and uh, finally sold, I believe maybe the first or second day of December. And um, just being an idiot that I am, I I thought this was new just because it looks sealed and everything and all the pieces appear to be there. But I actually, upon further investigation, it was not new. So um, it was missing like the VHS player. This thing was also from like 1999, by the way. So it, it was supposed to come with a VHS tape. Uh, it didn't. So I disclosed that to the buyer. I messaged them. I'm, so, I'm really sorry. I understand if you want me to refund you, I can do that. Everything looks uh, good in there but it's missing like the VHS tape. And he said, no, it's fine. Just send it how it is. <clears throat> and um, I'll look at it. So I was kind of nervous because I thought I'd get it returned. But um, I actually ended up getting some positive feedback for this. And he, uh, he gave me some positive feedback and he kept it. So very happy with that. And I also, I picked it up for like 15 bucks too, by the way. So 15, I sold it for 225. Um, so, and I believe this went to Boston or Delaware. So it went somewhere on the East Coast. Um, so it did not cost that much to ship. So I, I was I was happy about that as well. Um, so yeah, those are my top 10 sales from December 2018. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please subscribe if you're not and like the video. And please let me know which of these items was your favorite and let me know what you think below. All right. Thanks guys.